Okay, so we're back again showing you the effects of magnetism on the electrolysis process. Uh, not much has changed. Uh, we have still have a two-plate cell that's made of 400 series stainless steel. It's got magnetic properties. Uh, basically, it's attracted to a magnet. Uh, the, the plates, though, they're assembled in such a way that they can't vibrate or resonate between each other. So basically, uh, between the gap, nothing is really happening. It's not vibrating at all. We've got the same power supply. We're going to run it at 3 volts. Uh, we've got the same electromagnet. It's controlled by a variable power supply. Um, and the strength of the magnet is basically determined by the current. Okay. And in this case here, we're running with a much, uh, we're going to run with much uh, a much weaker magnet. We've also added a compass and a little stack of magnets just to realign the compass when it uh, when it moves. So uh, let's get right to it and just show you what we have here. There's our cell. There's our compass and a little stack of electromagnets. So let's plug it in. And we see a little bit of electrolysis beginning to occur. Okay. So let's apply some magnetic uh, field to this. And there you see the effect. The compass has moved. Let's just realign it back to where it was or where it should be. And we'll do that again. So what you see this time is that the plates aren't vibrating, they're not resonating. We can do this a couple more times, just so you get the idea of what's happening. So you see there's a, an acceleration process that occurs when you apply a magnetic field to the plates. And we're applying a very, very weak magnetic field here. But you see what's, uh, so you see what's occurring. As you see on the right here, we only have uh, a partial magnetic field. And if we were to completely surround this cell in a magnetic field, uh, you'd certainly see a lot more of electrolysis occurring. So which we'll show you next time is we're going to completely surround the cell in a magnetic field. And how we'll do that is in the stator. Basically what we've done is we converted a stator here so that the poles of the magnets are all aligned in the same direction. So basically what we have here, then in, in one instance all the poles will be facing north. In the next instance all the poles will be facing south. But this is a strong electromagnet. Even at 7 amps, um, you'll find that uh, you have a pretty strong magnetic field. And what we'll do is we'll just place the cell in inside and we'll show you the effects. But again, getting back to what we have here. Pretty seen the pretty much seen the effect here. So let's just let it go at that.